Hey guys and welcome to number 22 of the Derby Career Mode and Stuff. So episode we are going to put the difficulty down to professional. The reason is, you look at the table, we're in 10th and we need to get top 4. And I think I calculated out if I only lose like 3 or 4 games then I should be able to do it. But yeah, it's going to be still quite tight if even on uh, professional. So we're going to have to get as many points as we can. Obviously we've just left the January transfer window where we did pick up... Um, Bellerin at Bubakar and I think one of the maybe one or two other players I think um, i.e. as well the centre back from Barcelona so some good additions I think we got more pay on loan as well so yeah it's a really good squad actually we got um, Matt Jarvis as well in the first team lineup so I think that January transfer window is really productive and going into our first game with pretty much all our transfers done now um, about three points between us and um, Swansea who are five places below so it shows how tight the uh, table is at the moment so we get into the first six minutes of the match here Danny Ings with a nice fake shot then a finesse shot into the back of the net to make it 1-0 good start in the game of course and Danny Ings is just a terrific player to have in any career mode just he is a little bit boring a lot of people do use him but at the same time I, I never really used him on FIFA I did use him on FIFA 12 when he was a bronze but since then really haven't tried him out so into the 45th minute of the match here unfortunately we do concede that goal just before half time then we go into the 57th minute here um, Montero getting the ball forward to Keystone Young and then eventually getting the ball back to Nelton or Norton I'm not too sure which one it is into Dyer, Dyer just walks into the box and nobody tackles him and he makes it 2-1 so it still shows that in professional it's going to be still quite difficult because we should like in my opinion win like 3 or 4 nil. but at the moment we're really not performing that well so we go into this 68th minute of the match here fantastic little bit of play there from I think it was a Bubakar no it's Gamin sorry uh, the new signing we got in at uh, Summer. Really good right back in my opinion. He's got quite nice stats and uh, can play in the CDM role as well. So yeah, really nice assist to set up Danny Ings there with the volley. Then we go into the 87th minute of the match here. Eunice with a fantastic header. He's only about five foot six, but he's leaped up above like um, Ashley Williams or something and got the win there to make it 3-2. So still quite a tight game. Now that I've uh, moved the difficulty down to professional, I'm not gonna change the weather as that is what I used to do on World Class and unfortunately in the last game Hoffman is going to be out for the next three months so I'm really glad we did actually bring in more pay in that window because we still have quite a few strikers but Hoffman was a really good player and I think more pay will fill that role quite nicely with Danny Ings up front a really nice pacey combination up there so into the next game we go against West Bromwich Albion it's an interesting one West Brom because they have got some decent players like Cramrich and quite experienced team but at the same time I should be able to beat them quite nicely we are in the rain so I may struggle on that front, but a nice start here from Morpé. Gets it into the back of the net to make it 1-0. He is quite a nice player, I must say. If you can get him like early on in a career mode, he's like starts as a 63 with like 90 pace if you buy him for like a League One team, and then work yourself up to the Premier League. I think he goes up to about an 82. So a really solid player, and he gets the ball back here straight from kickoff, goes through, scores. That kind of is like one of the little things that uh, on professional when you do get a kickoff. Um, either side basically can get a goal most of the time it is a little bit of an exploit but nevertheless into the 45th minute of the match here nice ball forwards to Danny Ings then out wide to Johnny Russell cuts inside smashes it with the left foot and makes it 3-0 it kind of does show that the difficulty is different but at the same time we need to get the wins because it, if we don't get the wins then we'll get sacked and we won't carry on with this career round. and at the same time there's nothing really amazing happening if I don't get the top four finish then I think it'll be really boring. I think um, the next season we're just going to be doing exactly the same as this season. So we really need to push on and do something better. So a nice 4-0 victory there against West Brom. Still in 10th position though. We are currently 12 points off the top 5. So into the next game we go against we uh, Watford. A team that we should easily beat. I'm going to put a few players that haven't really had that many games. Because Watford, we should be able to beat them. And especially on World uh, Professional of course. So into the next game we go it is in the snow it is nice to see some different weather of course but we don't get off to the best of starts here because Callas does actually get himself sent off there it was debatable it was early on in the game maybe it could have been just a yellow but obviously we had to drop down a striker I think we dropped Danny Ings and just put a Bubakar in the middle and then we put Van Aken in at centre back and it's nice to know we got the backup if a player does get injured or if we've got a red card like for example we can just bring in a really quality player and fill in that spot so Putting Abubakar at the uh, striker position on his own units just behind him. It's basically a 4-3-1-1 um, one, one, uh, formation. So into the 41st minute of the match here. Eunice with really nice skill and dribbling. Gets into the box. Hits it. Makes it 1-0. What a quality little player this guy is. He doesn't go up to like a massively high 85 or anything. But he's a really consistent like 75 rate of player. 
that's only going to go up to like an 80. So into the 55th minute of the match here, Abubakar shows off his pace, goes through the fence, smashes it into the back of the net, and double the lead to the 2-0 advantage. Hopefully in this game we can get the three points. It is a bit of a shame we did get Callas sent off. He is, he's a little bit short, but at the same time he's a quality little player in that defence and does a really good job. So it's going to be a bit of a shame if we're missing him for a big game. Into the 71st minute of the match here, Van Aken in the defence, picks up the ball nicely with a nice standing tackle. I think he's got like 78 or something, which is really nice for a 69 rated player. So into the halfway line we go, putting the ball out wide to Matt Jarvis, a really nice ball from Johnny Russell. And these two wingers, um, technically the three wingers we have of Ince, Jarvis and Russell, really happy with what we got at the moment. We've obviously got Lingard who can play Cowman out wide and it's just a really nice goal there. Ming's getting the ball into the box and again, Eunice winning the head. He's like five foot six beating a big centre back and doing a great job into the 84th minute of the match here Jeff Hendrick in the CDM slot gets the ball inside into Eunice and again Eunice just working his magic nice one two play getting the ball to Abubakar hits it into the back of the net and makes it 4-0 literally Eunice is such a critical role in this team I mean, if we do get him injured I'm going to really miss him because he's a quality player so into the squad report we haven't done one of these in quite a while and as we just ended the uh, January transfer and I thought I'd do that so Bellerin and Callis both up by one. Um, it's nice to see uh, Bellerin's physical stats go up even more because they are yeah, absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, Tyron Mings isn't actually going up, but he's in excellent form. Hughes is up by one. Johnny Russell is up by two. Matt Jarvis, who's 30, has gone up by one to a 76. That's really nice to see. Eunice up by four in one season. You don't see that many times, so really nice to see his growth. Abubakar up to a 77. Really good deal, in my opinion, swapping him for uh, Charlie Austin. Van Aken has gone up by three ratings. That's another great player growth there. More pay has only gone up by one, but he's only been here a week. Brig Nodley, he's a nice cut goalkeeper. He does make some really nice saves at critical times. Hoffman, unfortunately injured at the moment, is up by three. If you want to pause at any time, obviously do that. Um, Jeff Hendrick's gone up by the one. The reason why Ince went down is because of his injury. Of course, um, they'll knock him down, but they should come back uh, pretty soon. So, yeah, generally, not many players going down and a lot of players going up. We did obviously bring in... Um, Josh Murphy as well, just because if we do get a few injuries in the out wide positions, we haven't got that many options. So I thought, why not just spend a little bit of money on the wages, of course. And yeah, that is basically all about it for um, the squad report. I think development wise, we're doing really, really well. And into our next game against Manchester City, what a big game this is. If we are going to get one of them top five finishes, we need to be beating the top five teams. So yeah, really important to get the good result in this game. And we're going to be playing... Thomas Ince at the centre attack in mid position. Um, I was tempted to put a different right back, but Bellerin with his ridiculous amount of pace really can't decline him playing a game. So into the next game against Manchester City, currently about 12 points off the top five. So we need to uh, keep winning, keep the difficulty down to professional and make sure we get through to the uh, Europa League or Champions League next season. So here's the Manchester City lineup. If you want to pause that, then um, there it is. And then not many changes really, so pretty much the same team. Into the... 16th minute of the match here, a ball out wide to Mings, uh, well it kind of was out for Jarvis but lost the ball but nevertheless Jarvis here with his fantastic pace, goes past Zabaleta, cuts inside, I think that's company on the inside of him, goes past him as well, finesses it into the back of the net and makes it 1-0. Exactly the start we needed against Manchester City, a really big team and if you don't get that early goal then you potentially could lose the game so that goal really did unlock the team for the rest of the game because they had to come out and left a lot of space and this ball here from Johnny Russell. What a beautiful ball that is for Danny Ings, and eventually Danny Ings does cut past Zapaleta, then he goes back, then he goes back again, then he goes inside, smashes it into the back of the net, makes it 2-0. Really nice goal, I must say. The assist was fantastic. Really nice in uh, genuity from Ings to get the goal, and we extend the lead to 2-0. Then we go into the 88th minute of the match here. I thought it was actually going to be a penalty there, but it was a goal kick. Then from the goal kick, I thought, why not? Let's just pass it straight to Mangala. Give him the goal and make it 2-1 in the game. And I was really worried for the last few moments of the game. Are we going to lose it? Luckily not. We got the three points. And I don't know. Maybe we're on a little bit of a too easy difficulty. But we have to. We we simply have to do this if we want this career to continue. Still quite entertaining in my opinion. We're getting some really nice goals. So just going to change the kit numbers as we did. Just leave the January transfer window. Going to give Abubakar the number 9. And a few of the numbers here and there. If you want to pause at any time. Be sure to do that. And um as well, if you want to suggest any signings now that you know the team that will be uh, mine until the end of the season. Yeah, if you want to like fill in any gaps that you think will be really cool to uh, bring in, please do leave some comments. I'm going to actually record the live Derby Crew mode very soon. So 
those comments will be very useful to know what you guys want. And um, yeah, just uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you're on the channel, and see you soon. Bye.